so students today our topic is motion and i want to describe you about the newton's law of motion but before that we should remind that what is motion and what is rest that is the basic definition are you aware about that what is motion if an object is changing its position with respect of its time we can say that is in motion and if the object is not changing its position with respect of time that is called be the rest if i am taking example that my book is putting on this hand this book is not changing its position then it's called be the rest so the newton has described the three laws so the three laws are the first law is also called the law of inertia and the second law is f is equals to ma and third one is action rejection so what is the first law if a object is in the rest it will remain the same and if an object is in the motion it will remain the same until or unless external force is applied so we can take an another example like this book is in the rest this book this book will remain in the same position until i apply the external force so that is also called the law of inertia what is the second law of motion force equals mass times like what is that f is equals to m into a m describes here mass and a describes here acceleration and what is third law that every action has an equal and opposite reaction then so we will briefly discuss what is the first law of motion that is law of inertia i described it if an object is in the rest it will remain the same and if an object is in the motion it will remain the same until and unless we apply the external force that is also called the law of inertia i already described it so the main thing is that what is the inertia what is inertia inertia is an tendency of an object which opposes the situation or we can say that which opposes the velocity like uh, if i am sitting in the bus i want to remain the same position my body wants to remain in the same position it opposes the velocity so we can see the we can see this in the bus like uh, if uh, if we are sitting in the car and the car travelling in 80 km per hour but suddenly the car stops our body wants to remain in the same speed and we go through the accident because our body uh, fall from outside of the car so that is the example of first law of motion then what is the second law that is f is equals to m into a where m describes the mass of an object and a describes the acceleration of an object if we multiply the mass of the object and the acceleration of the object that considers the force on an object so the second law is the net force of an object is equals to the product of its mass and acceleration so the unit of that force is also done in newton so there are some examples that uh, this uh, is a question how much force is needed to accelerate a 1400 km car 2 meter per second so we should multiply that now what is the these are the questions you can solve it by your own and now we should talk about the third law of motion that is every action has an equal and opposite reaction like if we are sitting on the table our body pushes the chair down and the same the chair is pushing our body upward the upward for the upward force is called the lift we have seen the various example on that that is our body is pushing the force on downward that is called action and if the chair is pushing our body upward that is called the reaction that is called the action and reaction of the law uh, you can see these examples in the examples of fish like uh, if fish are uh, if fish is using its propulsion to push the water back and the water push them forward i am take i am giving you an another example like if birds is flying in the sky the words also depend on the newton's third law as the bird push down the air with their wings the air pushes their wings and gave them lift to fly in the high sky so i think you have understand all the topic thank you so much to watching this video have a nice day jain